Yeah, it, I think it it will never stop. But it just shows like the appreciation for Dirk as a person and a basketball player. He was just well known all over the world. Everybody appreciates him. Everybody loves him. He. Like besides being one of the greatest basketball players ever, he's like really, really a good person. And I think that's what people appreciate even more about him. And you know, it's just like, I'm from Germany, I'm from the same hometown. It's just like very special to, to see that a guy is appreciated like that. He's an all-time hero, but everywhere. And I think like the Jersey retirement now just showed that it's like not just in Germany or in the US, it's every country. I mean, I remember when we flew to China and we played there, it was crazy. Like for him and for Holger, they all loved him so it's it's just all over the world one big tall guy from Würzburg talking about the other big tall guy from Würzburg yes Maxi talking about Dirk and if you've watched Mavs Insider throughout the years you know we stopped down for any and all things Dirk Nowitzki and this year it is the return of his pro celebrity tennis classic it's year number five COVID stopped it for a few years, but they were back in incredible fashion. It was such a fun event. Lots of money raised for the Dirk Nowitzki Foundation. And of course, Dana Larson was on the scene. It is one of the most memorable days of the year when Dirk Nowitzki and his celebrity friends hit the tennis courts for a very good cause. You looked great out there. How did that feel? I'm battling. I'm not in the shape I used to be, but it's fun. I mean, another great turnout since we didn't do it for, for two years to, to come back and have the support from, from everybody. It's been a wonderful turnout. The last time I was here, it was super fun, and I'm really excited to be back here. Anytime you come here to... Dirk calls you to come to his uh, tennis tournament for his foundation. And I get a chance to come see my friends, my family here in, in Dallas. It's always special. Proceeds benefit the many North Texas children's and women's charities that Dirk's foundation supports. Come out and to support this and help him raise as much money as he can. It was a no-brainer for me and to see the support that he has from local stars, former players, uh, the fans in the stands, it's, it's, just, it's just tremendous. He did a lot for Dallas, you know, uh, Dallas and Dirk, you know, if you think of Dallas, you think of Dirk. What's it mean to have Luca be here for you? He flew in yesterday. Uh, he was in Europe, obviously I saw him at the Eurobasket, and he came back a day early. Uh, it means a lot. It's, uh, he's a great friend, he's got a, he's got a big heart, and uh, for him to support this means a lot. A cause like this, and an icon like Dirk, brought out some of the biggest names in basketball. Dirk, we, we'd love for you to give a scouting report on the man to your right as a tennis player. Tell us about Luca as a tennis player. I think he thinks he's better than he really is. <laughs> We've had some good trash talk battles, uh, but he can play a little bit. I always tell him to stick to basketball. <laughs> Plus, the biggest names in Hollywood and literally the biggest stars in tennis. When you trip over your own feet and fall from seven feet up high and, and land on your wrist, it's uh, yeah, it's it's not a good combo. I fell and hurt my wrist, but since I'm five seven, nothing happened. <laughs> With Mavs head coach Jason Kidd lending his support and Steve Nash, Luca, and JJ Barea on the courts, fans and attendants were treated to the Mount Rushmore of Dallas point guards. It's just great to see Dirk. And Nash and JJ and Luca out here playing tennis uh, for a great cause. You play tennis? Uh, I don't know if it's called tennis. Mm. Debuting his own shoe, the Luca One, and now a perennial MVP candidate and global superstar. His former teammate JJ Barea knows the tennis court may be the only place Luca can be beat these days. I got to spend time with his first year, second year. And I knew he was going to be special, but he's, he's getting there pretty quick. So we, we just got to enjoy it. You know, the people here, the fans here, got to enjoy it and try to, you know, push him as much as we can. And, and But he, yeah, he's, he's a special talent, and he, he likes to get better. He likes to compete against the best. So we got a good one for the next uh, 10, 12 years. Are you going up against Luca today, or have you yet? Yeah, I'm going to beat him pr pretty soon. And with the season fast approaching, a day like this was not taken for granted. Where the winners were those who came to support Dirk's great cause and those whose lives will be changed by it. Another fantastic time with Dirk Nowitzki at the helm. And once again, his buddy Steve Nash won the whole thing.
course. That's the way it goes around here. All right, we've got plenty of Mavs insiders still to come, including a visit with my buddy Bobby Carella and a great honor for the legendary Dell Harris. That's all right around the corner.